NASA is putting a new satellite into orbit to keep an eye on sea levels. First alert meteorologist Zoe Mintz shows us why it's important, especially along our eastern coast. It's called the Sentinel-6 satellite, and it's set to launch on November 21st. The satellite is the first effort between U.S. and European space agencies to focus on Earth science. In fact, Sentinel-6 will be the first of a pair of satellites providing measurements on sea level change for over 90% of the world's ocean surface. It will use laser altimeters to help measure the height of the sea, and that knowledge will be a big help in tracking the storms we see in the east. We can do things like better predict rapid intensification of hurricanes. When a column of, of seawater warms, it expands, and that creates a bulge on the surface that we can see with the altimeters. There are other satellites measuring sea level, but they don't have the resolution and accuracy of Sentinel-6. It can also measure small sea level variations near coastlines, affecting ship navigation and commercial fishing. It will also help researchers see the scope and speed of climate changes. This one will have the resolution to show us how sea level is changing in coastal region and you know how it's responding to the storm impact or the flow of the Gulf Stream. I mean, we want to maintain eastern North Carolina. We want to maintain the economies down there. Sentinel-6's everyday applications include readings of atmospheric temperatures and humidity, improving weather forecasts. The satellite will launch on a SpaceX rocket from a California Air Force base. In Greenville, I'm First Alert meteorologist Zoe Mitz.